Hey guys, so today I'm doing an empties video because I have this huge bag of stuff and other products in here that didn't fit in it. And I've seriously had these since like the summer at least. Like I've had them for so long. So I was like, I need to get all this empty stuff. Like why do I need this out of my room? So yeah, sorry my bed isn't made. That's why I'm like moved over. But I literally cleaned off my dresser and no one understands like this took me like an hour and a half like I had so much stuff on there so I'm actually really proud of it it looks so good but okay um I wanted to do like sections like I'm doing that then I'm gonna do that then I'm gonna do make my bed and then clean what's in front of me and then my desk so today's a cleaning day but anyway so um I don't know what's in here honestly all this stuff is literally so old but I'm just going to go through it. So I'm going to start with the stuff that's just sitting beside me. So first I have the pumpkin gingerbread candle from Bath & Works, which smells so good. I love Bath & Works candles. They're amazing. Um, and then I have mahogany tequa, which is like my all-time favorite. It smells like Abercrombie. Um, then I have this little mini that I literally just finished like five seconds ago, and it's Villa Bergamot. And I love it because it's like mahogany tequa, but not as like strong because some people think that one's like overwhelmingly strong but this one is like the perfect amount so I kind of wish I had that in a bigger candle but whatever then I have this candle which is province garden this is so old I got this I think for my birthday or Christmas last year like it's really old but it actually smells really good it's like a nice spring scent but that's far away it's not even winter yet um I have one of these big hand sanitizers from Bath and Mighty Works this is summer escape I use Bath & Works hand sanitizers so, so, so much. Like, I use it probably five times at least every time I do my makeup. I use it at school. I use it, like, throughout the day, just all the time. So, love those. Um, this perfume, which I don't understand, like, at all. It's called Pink Sugar Plum, and I've never used it in my life. I just opened my drawer. Like, I have, like, this thing I used to keep my makeup in. If you've been watching my videos, like... Since the star, it's like white and there's like, yeah, whatever. But I just like opened it and this perfume was in it and it was like, had this much in it. And I got this like two Christmases ago and I've literally never used it because I hate scents that are just sweet. Like flat out like super strong, sweet, like not f like fruit sweet, like just fake sweet. I don't know if you know what I mean. But this is a scent that literally just smells so strongly sweet. I wouldn't even want to smell like this, but I'm throwing it away because it's, like, all gone. I've literally never used it in my life, but whatever. I don't want to, so, yeah. Um, then I have the Aussie 3-Minute Miracle. Um, I bought this because I really wanted the um, macadamia, like, one, but that's super, super expensive, and this one's, like, 3 or $4, so I got this. This is, like, I've been using this forever. Right now I have the color one. I don't know if that's new, but I've never seen it before. I bought it in Virginia. And I really like it. I think it's helping. Like, my roots actually need done really bad. But, um, I mean, I think it's keeping my hair, like, kind of light. I don't know. But I love that. Love it. Love it. Another hand sanitizer. This one's a mini. This is Twisted Peppermint. Any Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer smell amazing. Um, this is Oahu Coconut Sunset. This smells so good. Like, so good. I can't even explain it. I'm so bad at describing scents, but it's like coconut, but then it's like musky. Like, it's not just like a really, I don't know, it smells so good. Um, this is like four packagings ago. This is literally so old. It's coconut lime verbena. I keep like perfumes in my car that I don't really care about. I actually have like literally at least four empty perfumes in my car right now that I could show you, but I'm not running out to my car to get those. But, um, I just keep, like, old perfumes that I don't really care about because I spray it, like, constantly, like, every single time I'm in my car because I want it to smell good, so, yeah. Um, this one is Twilight Woods. This is, like, a really old scent, but I can't even smell it, but, um, I know this smells good, and that's, like, a really musky scent. This is a contact solution. No one cares. Um, I have two of the Tresemme Dry Shampoos. I was using this for a while, um... I mean, it's good, but I definitely like the Batiste one better. The Batiste is my favorite. This is good, and the Dove one is good if you're looking for a cheap one. They're both good. I don't remember which one's better. I haven't used them in kind of a while, but 
those are the two ones I'd recommend. Um, this is another, like, big one. This is Twisted Peppermint, because I love these so much. Um, I no don't even remember using this up. I think I put it in my car, but it's pink, sweet, and flirty. I got this a really long time ago. This is, like, on the bridge of being, like, where'd it go? Like, overwhelmingly, like, not even smell good sweet, but it's, like, just right that it's not too strong, but yeah. Anyway, I have, oh my god, I have so many Bath and Body Works candles. This is, like, from over, like, such a long period of time. This is mint chocolate, which normally, the chocolate, just normal, like, chocolate candle, I hate. I think it smells really gross, like, I don't know if it's just me, but this one has, like, mint in it, too, and mint chocolate chip ice cream is my favorite, like, so I like this one because it has mint in it because the normal chocolate one is just gross to me, I don't know. This is literally my favorite, favorite candle I've ever smelled from Path of My Dirks in my life. It's called Paris Daydream, and I don't know what's on this, sorry. My stepdad got this for me, like, not, I don't think it was last year. I think it was two Christmases ago. And it's literally my favorite scent, and it was, like, a really limited time thing, like, when they had these caps, like, lids, not caps, what? And it seriously smells so good. It's just, like, the perfect, it's a really light scent. It says... Oh, so French blend of watery notes, moss, and mandarin. Like, it has, I can smell, like, the mandarin, and then it has, like, a little bit of, like, a nature, like, not grass, but, like, I can't even explain. It smells so good. I really want to look for that on, like, Amazon because it's so good, and I haven't seen it in so long. Um, this is another one of my favorite candles, Peach Bellini. This smells so good, and I love it because it's really strong, so it actually, like, makes your room smell like it without having to burn, like, a lot. Um, okay, last candle, I promise. This is Tis the Season, which is pretty much winter candy apple, like, in a candle. So, this smells really good. Okay, um, I have some makeup removers. These are my all-time favorite. They're Clean and Clear Night Relaxing. I definitely recommend those over anyone, any other ones. I was just talking about this winter candy apple. This perfume smells so, so, so good. That's definitely my favorite, um, like, Christmas scent that they come out with. Um, these are some Family Dollar makeup removers because, um, I just needed some really fast. Again, this is one of those really, really old packagings. This is Mango Mandarin. This is one I kept in my car because I didn't care. Um, this is another one I kept in my car because it's from Rue 21 and it's just called Posh. And it smells like apples, but it actually smells, like, pretty good. So, I don't know. Um, okay, now this is random makeup items that I literally finished in, like, 2011, so yeah. Um, this isn't makeup, but this is this clear cell, like, you can read it, pretty much, you just put it on your pimples, and it works really, really good, but if you have dry skin, do not use this, because it literally just dries out the pimple, but it does make it, like, literally disappear, like, if you use it overnight, literally one night, it'll get so much smaller, and then if you use it again, like, after using it two nights, the pimple's, like, literally gone, but it does just literally dried out that's what it does so if you have dry skin I mean you might be okay if you use like a good like thick moisturizer the next day but I don't know I think that works best if you have like oily skin um this is a Rimmel Exaggerate waterproof eyeliner it's all gone I never use pencil eyeliner so I don't know how that's gone probably from my friends okay then um baby lips in too cool this was like my obsession for like a really long time because this is actually a really good lip balm, so yeah. Um, then I have a Blistex Medicated Mint Balm, which I really, really, really like this chapstick as well. Urban Decay Super Curl Curling Mascara. This is a mini. This mascara is actually so nice. I totally forgot about it, but I love the wand, and it's good for volume and length, and the wand, like, gets in every single one of your lashes, so I actually really like that mascara. Um, okay, now I have four drugstore mascaras so I have L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly this was my favorite for a really long time I kind of want to try it out again because this one and this one are by far the two best mascaras I've ever used in my life but currently I'm using that pink one but I kind of want to try this one out again whenever I need a new mascara which is literally never I have so many but I want to try that again um, Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal. I used to use these two together and it was, like, amazing. So, this is a really good mascara. 
Um, the wand doesn't look like anything special, but it actually works pretty good, but I don't really like it on its own. I like to use it after another mascara because if I use it on its own, like the first mascara I put on, I do like like a lot of it, and this is a wet mascara, so if I do a lot of it, it kind of gets clumpy, so I like to do it over another one. Um, this is the Maybelline one by one All the writing is gone, but this is a really good mascara. I haven't used it in kind of a while, but just like a good mascara and then this is the Maybelline Mega Plush which everyone was obsessed with but um I don't really like it and I like bent the crap out of this brush I have no idea how this happened but I mean it's not a bad mascara it is good it's just like it's nothing that I would like rave about okay and then last thing is um this was like I hate myself this was like this was the Sephora birthday gift I don't know how long ago, but this is just the Sugar Fresh lip balm, and they have, what the frick, okay, they have these in like a bunch of different colors, but um, this is just the clear one, but I used it up, and I just like broke it, ew, okay, ew, but this is actually a really, 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 really good chapstick, but um, it's like $24 or something for a chapstick, which is like, um, I mean, I don't know, I won't spend that much on a chapstick, but if you're willing to, if you're just like trying to blow your money, you don't care, then that is a really good chapstick. But yeah, okay, that is everything I had to show you guys, I hope you enjoyed, um, I don't know if these videos are kind of boring, I just like to like, do them occasionally, because it's nice to get your opinion on something once you actually use it up completely, because then you really know like how it works, so... Hope you enjoyed my empties video and little mini review. Oh, I forgot one product. This Airy Lotion in, um, I don't know what it's called. I think this is the original, like, Airy Lotion because they have different ones. This smells so... Anyone else see that? Okay. This smells so, so, so good. I love these little mini Airy Lotions. I got, like, four of them for Christmas that came in a set and... These are really good. But yeah, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. And please subscribe because I'm almost at 22,000 and I'm gonna cry probably. So yeah, I love you all so, 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 so freaking much. I wish I could hug all of you, but um, we all live way too far away from each other. But I'm gonna go. I hope you enjoyed and subscribe. I already said all this. Leave me a comment. I read every single one, I promise. And um, you can leave me any requests you have or just a comment, whatever you're feeling. So. Yeah, I love you guys so much, and I hope you have a good day, and I love you so much. Oh my god, okay. Bye.